Two of the most talked about travel credit cards available are the Chase Sapphire Preferred Card and the Chase Sapphire Reserve. Have you ever made a wrong decision in choosing between these two cards? If that happened, the same should not happen again. In this video, let's explore the benefits of both cards. Here is everything you need to know about Chase Sapphire Reserve and Chase Sapphire Preferred. Let's get started. Members of the Chase Sapphire Preferred and Chase Sapphire Reserve credit cards have access to benefits and incentives. Based on the features, the cost of the card, and your spending patterns, we put together this comparison to help you choose which card is best for you. Let's address the issue directly from the start. As their respective pricing points, the Chase Sapphire Reserve and the Chase Sapphire Preferred cards are both excellent options. Stated differently, you can't really go wrong with either. These credit cards come with a ton of intriguing benefits. So even if you're not a frequent traveler just yet, they can help you get started on your next free vacation. The Chase Sapphire Reserve aims to become the most feature-rich and prestigious travel card in the world, while the Chase Sapphire Preferred caters to casual travelers. We're going to outline benefits and drawbacks of each below to assist you in making the decisions that is best for you and your way of life. Initially, let's have a look at Chase Sapphire Reserve. Chase Sapphire Preferred provides an instant sign-up bonus and expedited point accumulation for dining, travel, and other uses. For both frequent and frequent travelers, this credit card can be an excellent choice because of its cheaper annual fee and availability through Chase's Ultimate Rewards program. On the other hand, those who travel frequently and wish to access important travel benefits should apply to the Chase Sapphire Reserve card. This credit card comes with an annual travel credit in addition to higher point earning rate for travel and eating out. Other advantages that can improve your travel experiences are also available to you, like participation in Priority Pass Select. Also, in order to get a better idea about each of them, it's necessary to get a brief idea of both. Are you ready for it? With the Chase Sapphire Preferred, you can earn three points for dining, select streaming services, and online grocery purchases in addition to earning two points for every dollar you spend on travel. You can also earn 60,000 bonus points after spending $4,000 on purchases within the first three months of having the card. All of your points can be redeemed at a rate of 1.25 cents each through Chase's travel portal. Or you can transfer them to one of Chase's 14 travel partners for potentially even more valuable redemptions. Additionally, you're going to receive a 10% anniversary point incentive, which entitles you to an additional 10% off any purchases completed in the preceding year when your account anniversary occurs. Additionally, when using Chase's Ultimate Rewards Travel Portal to make reservations, Sapphire Preferred members now receive an annual $50 hotel credit. Conversely, the Chase Sapphire Reserve occurs three points for each dollar spent on dining and travel, and you can transfer those points to the same 14 Chase travel partners. You also receive 60,000 bonus points after spending $4,000 on purchases made within the card during the first three months of ownership. However, the Sapphire Reserve also includes improved travel protection. $300 yearly travel credit, $5 in monthly DoorDash credits through 2024, free access to airport lounges, and the ability to redeem points at a higher 1.5 cents each through Chase's travel site. Additionally, you can deduct purchases in specific categories at a rate of 1.25 cents per point by using the card's pay yourself back feature. When you buy both Sapphire cards through Chase's Ultimate Rewards Portal, you can additionally accrue bonus points for dining and travel. When making travel reservations through Ultimate Rewards, you can earn 5 total points with the Sapphire Preferred and 10 total points with the Sapphire Reserve for eating, lodging, and vehicle rentals. Last but not least, the Sapphire Preferred has an annual fee of just $95 compared to the $550 for the Sapphire Reserve, but it also offers fewer benefits and annual credits to help defray the cost. So from the information, which do you think is the best option? Additionally, they do have welcome bonuses. Let's have a look over it. With the ability to eventually learn how to master transferable points for even more value, the Chase Sapphire Preferred is the perfect card for those who wish to use their points for free travel. Currently, you can get 60,000 points as a welcome bonus after spending $4,000 during the first three months of opening an account. When redeemed for 1.25 cents per point via the Chase Travel Getaway, that's worth at least $750 in free travel. On the other hand, frequent travelers who enjoy finer things in life highly regard excellent customer service and want to spend a lot on travel or eating on their route to amazing free trips that are the perfect fit for the Chase Sapphire Reserve. The same $60,000 bonus points are still available if you spend $4,000 on purchases within the first three months of creating the account. There's one thing to keep in mind even if you're still collecting Chase Ultimate Rewards points. If you have the Sapphire Reserve and use the Chase travel site to redeem your points, you're going to receive 1.5 cents for each point. Therefore, 60,000 points on the Sapphire Reserve are worth $900 in travel. 
whereas 60,000 points in the Sapphire Preferred are worth 750 in travel if that's how you intend to use your points for redemption. What do you think about it? Many people prefer simple, uncomplicated methods of using their points to book trips. Some people favor more intricate options that involve transfer partners. Some people could start off as a straightforward redeemers, but eventually develop a passion for points and miles. All those groups are served by both the Sapphire Reserve and the Sapphire Preferred. When using Chase Sapphire Preferred to book travel directly through the Chase Travel site, points are worth a reasonable 1.25 cents each. However, as previously indicated, when redeeming points through the Chase Travel site, you're going to receive 1.5 cents per point if you have a Chase Sapphire Reserve. This implies that the value of each point earned on the Sapphire Reserve is 20% higher than that of the Sapphire Preferred. With both cards, you can also use Chase's Pay Yourself Back feature to redeem points and use them to deduct the cost of any transaction you make with your card. The Chase Sapphire Preferred offers a far worse redemption rate of one penny per point. But the Chase Sapphire Reserve allows you to redeem your points at 1.25 cents per point. Additionally, both cards work well with Chase Freedom Unlimited, a credit card that has no annual fee and gives 1.5% cash back on all your purchases. The reason is that any cash back on the Chase Freedom Unlimited can be converted to points at the rate of one cent per point if it's paired with the Sapphire Preferred or Sapphire Reserve. The points can then be deposited into your Sapphire account and redeemed at 1.25 cents per point or 1.5 cents per point, just like the rest of your points. Also, these cards are going to help you with your lifestyle and traveling, so it's necessary to know the uses and benefits of cards. Are you excited to know about it? If you value having a comfortable stay in the airport lounge, the Chase Sapphire Reserve comes out on top. A free Priority Pass Select Airline Lounge membership is included with the CSR. This membership gives you access to over 1,300 lounges worldwide and, in certain situations, credits for free meals at airport restaurants. You'll also be able to visit Chase's Sapphire Lounges. You can also take advantage of Chase's Luxury Hotel and Resort Collection with the Sapphire Reserve, which provides exclusive advantages like free meals, room upgrades, and other bonuses at specific hotels. At some Relais and Chateau properties, CSR cardholders are additionally eligible for premium hotel amenities, such as daily complimentary breakfast and a VIP welcome. So, did you get to find which option is the best? Your spending patterns, frequency of travel, and attitude towards rewards and privileges will all play a major role in your decision between the Chase Sapphire Reserve and the Chase Sapphire Preferred. Higher points, earning rates, a $300 yearly travel credit, access to Priority Pass airport lounges, and a $100 credit for TSA pre-check or global entry are just a few of the premium perks that come with the Sapphire Reserve. If you travel regularly, eat out frequently, or make heavy use of the travel benefits, its higher yearly charge might be justified. However, the Sapphire Preferred is a better option for people who value affordability while making use of travel advantages because it has a reduced annual fee and still offers great travel benefits. Because of the reduced annual price and respectable benefits, the Preferred can be a better option if you are a moderate traveler and aren't just starting out with travel rewards. And that's about it. If this video helped in any way, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Share your thoughts in the comment section. We'll catch you next time.